Hi, it's Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's uh, late in August and we're in Shropshire in the middle of a lovely big forest. And we found these mushrooms here. This one we picked from just over there. Now, obviously you're not going to be getting this on camera, but this is a rather smelly mushroom. It's called the stinkhorn, Phallus impudicus. And you can see it's a very spongy, almost like a prawn cracker stem on the mushroom. And the top of the mushroom, which is where all the smell comes from, is normally covered in this sort of browny substance here, which will be all over the top of the cap and it absolutely stinks. And that's what attracts flies, which come land and eat the substance and then they take the spores away. And uh, hopefully the mushroom gets to seed itself somewhere else. There you go, that's the mature stinkhorn. And this is... The stinkhorn egg. Looks a little bit like a puffball, but you can tell very quickly that it's not a puffball by pulling it up and simply cutting through it. Now, this mushroom is considered edible, not really at this stage, but at this stage in Europe, in Germany, what you've got on the inside is this jelly like substance. Obviously, by doing that, you can be uh, very sure that you haven't got a puffball. A puffball would just be spongy and white all the way through. Now, as I said, this is considered, or parts of this mushroom, this part in here, is considered a delicacy in Europe. I'm going to scrape off this jelly because I don't even like the jelly on the outside of pork pies, so I'm not too keen on trying the jelly on the outside of a stinkhorn mushroom. But it's this, the kind of cuticle, oh I'm getting covered in the stuff, <laughs> the kind of cuticle here, which is, as I said, considered a delicacy in parts of Europe. And I've got two other willing victims here <laughs> to taste it with me. This is Mel from Cullinetica, all the way from Australia. And this is Tanya, all the way from deepest, darkest Surrey. So do you want to take that little bit there? You take that bit there. Okay. Get a bit of the glue off. All right, all at once. Let's the white bit was brown. Bit the there. white. The white bit. That's interesting. It does say in the books that it's supposed to have a bit of a radishy flavour and texture. Mm. And I've never tried it before, but it does immediately have a radish kind of texture. And we obviously only had a tiny little nibble there, um, so we didn't get a huge amount of the flavour. It was fairly neutral flavour-wise, wasn't it? There was nothing disgusting about it, apart from the mucus that is left all over my fingers. <laughs> but there you go, a new mushroom that we've all tried today, the stinkhorn, Phallus impudicus. Um, now you've seen what to do, I recommend you go out and try it yourself because it's not that bad. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.